show me nothing but love. I walk, I walk down the street, all jury on in front of gangsters, and nobody think to do nothing to me. I don't give off that energy. Now, was there any um any truth to the rumors that I guess Shook Knight wanted to sign you to death row? I think at one point the locks in me could have and DMX could have been on death row, but because mm. we were all running with D from Rough Riders at that time. Yeah, oh, I, do wow. the, I do remember hearing about the DMX storyline. Yeah, that's why Pog said that in the record when he was like, if you want to be down with bad boy, F you too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so he was talking about us. Yo, did you have um any relationship with um Tupac? Nah, nah. I think I no saw Pac. With Tupac. Yeah, I just so I think I saw Pac one time on probably like Manhattan Avenue in Harlem. Mm. So when Tupac was going at Bad Boy, you never felt like you had to defend the label. Um, not not really, cause when I when I got signed, that was kind of like that was kind of already at the. I'm trying to think the of the time already. cause that's a little bit far away. I I didn't think. I had to um, do anything because the vibe he wanted me on was more of a party fun vibe. Got you. It would have been more for the locks to defend that. Mm. Mm. So everybody played a position in some type of way, shape, or form. Yeah. Yo, so when the locks said um, we didn't want to wear the shiny suits, Mace wanted to wear the shiny suits. Is that true? Um. Yeah, once I saw how much money it make me. Cause I, cause I say it to this day. People don't give you your credit. They don't give you your credit. Good ass. The shiny shoe era. They do not give it to you. Yeah, but I, you know, what I'm saying I, I got, I got kids in my top five though. That's mm. my. So who else is in your top five? Um, you know, Big is in my top five. Yeah. Ah. Jada, Biggie, Jada, okay. Big. Um, is Big L in your top five, possibly? Um, Lil Wayne is in my top five. Niggas get mad because oh, wow. I, I replaced Nas with Lil Wayne. You replaced Nas with Lil Wayne? <laughs> How the hell you? Nah, nah, you gotta break oh, you that. Gotta down. Go viral. <laughs> you gotta break that one down. How did you do that placement? Um, just, just like over time, you know what I'm saying? Like over time, sometimes some things are cemented because big is not here for us to know what he would have done after mm -hmm. that. So his legacy is cemented because we never got anything new, you know what I'm saying? But as time goes on, I, I feel like little Wayne has like the same, he, he has a little bit more. There's, I mean, Nas is, Nas is like my childhood blueprint. So I hold Nas, Nas is more sacred to me than any of the other people that I would name. But I if I'm, that up nice, though. That, no, know. but if I'm keeping it, if <laughs> I'm see, keeping it, it factual, it was. if I'm keeping it factual, like mm -hmm. Lil Wayne has been nice for a long, long time, like a now, very long Wayne, time. Wayne is a problem. Wayne yeah, is a problem. like. So even through the transitions, I feel like every artist kind of has their transitional phases. So even through yeah. the transitions, you feel like he's been very consistent. And Lil Wayne has not Lil. I'm I'm not I'm not champion for Lil Wayne because I don't even know Lil Wayne. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I I always try to be as honest as I could be. Like mm -hmm. when you look at Pop, Pop is gonna be in that in that in my top five because mm -hmm. it's a preference. Mine's is not on album sales. Mine is on MCing. Mm. Mine ain't on if you bought a big house so you got a nice watch. That ain't where mine's come from. If we go in a cipher right now, who's going to get busy? If you put Nas in a cipher right now, and you put Lil Wayne in a cipher. Who Right now, who they do definitely you gonna have? Step. They're going to step up. Definitely going to step up. Yeah, Lil Wayne is gonna go crazy. I know that. Yeah, Wayne's he's, Wayne's he's a problem. He's definitely the L thing. The L thing with Wayne, he had like four careers. That's what I'm trying to say. So Wayne's how do a you, different type you of can't energy. just 
like you know sometimes it's because being from new york we just hold the new york people like so high that you don't you don't realize that it's other niggas who have done the same work. You can't because you just mm-hmm. say Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. It that every spot is up for grabs if somebody mm-hmm. comes and does more. Got you. You can't like, just okay, cement that. Consistent. Yeah, you can't just cement that and be like, "Oh, this person." No, if somebody else died and they were better when at the time they died, are you just mm-hmm. gonna say that because? Cause now you being biased. Mm-hmm. If you're talking just rap, I would think so. I said I got Kiss. I Big, got um Wayne. Yeah, I got. And you Big, said Tupac. I got Kiss. I got um Wayne. Yep, Wayne. Tupac. Mm-hmm. There's one more. And Who holding I, that fifth spot? I would have to. I would have to even put Hov or or Eminem in that spot. Mm. Like that's G'd up that you said. You know, Jay Z hold because he went at you at one time, and for you to still keep it G'd up, I gotta salute you. On yeah, this. like I. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't. I don't sway left or right. Like some mm. people. That's how they are. With